Okay guys, I'm going to show my reverse figure four from Guard from the Snare. If you guys uh, saw the Advanced Guard DB, you, you probably saw all the Snare in there uh, system. So uh, I'm just going to review that real fast so if you don't have it, you can you can get a gander at it. Maybe you're just a Kimura double wrist lock guy and you want to learn all about it. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. Okay, well just a lot of times I like to, I, when I'm playing Guard, I, I like to either, I'm always working wrists or Elbows. Elbows is something that is often mis mislooked. And what I'm going to do for this position, I want this cross grip position, but he might necessarily not get me. It's not like I can just go, hey, he's going to take that away from me in a heartbeat. If I go here, here, he'll have it stripped before I can even get there. So if I go here, this what this does is it's unassuming, and I can just pop my hips, push it, and now I can get my, my grip. All right, so I'm basically... I'm looking for a grip. I'm, I'm trying to create space so you can see. So I'll have a cross grip and I'm going to have the tricep. When I do this, he's going to, re uh, he's going to feel a, re a need to retract to protect that. And when he does, I'm going to push and I'm going to come over the top and I'm going to pummel. Okay? So when I'm here and I bump this aside and I pull myself in, he starts to counter that. I pull him in and pummel. So when I pummel now, I'm, in, I'm not going super deep here. This is a different lock. I'm going here, I like to keep it short. And the reason why I do this is I can create a hover because I have his wrist, he can feel the pressure on his forearm, I'm pulling and I'm pushing. So I've got two directions of movement which give me strength. And now if, he's, if, I, if, he's, if I need help, I can use this to get my hips out if I need it. Or if I need to push with the forearm to get this, hips, this available, I can't. So this creates this pocket where I can create this pocket between us just by simply flaring, twisting. I have good control here. And he can make a lot of mistakes here to, to give me other submissions as well. So when I'm here, what I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick out and I wanna get this foot on the hip and I'm gonna pinch my thigh. And this will do is just give me a, a second break. So I'll go here to keep the leg, uh, the uh, hand bunched. And then the hand comes over the top and locks. And now from this position, I bring this in and I drop my elbow down on the shoulder. Down. That's the lock. So when I'm in this position, sorry, he starts to counter it. Now I got my frame. I start to torque. Here, I get that nice good chicken wing position. I'm now compensating. I figure four lock, drive my form down. There's the lock. That's a nice, nice, nice lock. Okay? You can sometimes, if you get overcompensated, like you saw in the other DVD, and I flare them out here, I swing over the head, then there's other options for a cue, or some guys can hit their, their bicep crunch in here too. Okay? So that's a little different version. I like that side a lot. I like it a lot. So. If you're not used to the snare, I just something I started toying with it. I learned, I learned it standing from a Greco guy, like I do a lot of things, and uh, may it work for the bottom game, okay? So that's my reverse figure four, which is the same thing as Kamora there, okay? Good luck with that.